Good morning, guys. I got this beautiful outfit for my Oscar boy by Wimukt on Etsy. The doll in the picture is a Unoa Culottes 1 6 scale vinyl boy doll. I have yet to get one, but I am definitely planning on it. I have been looking at them for a while now, and they are expensive and they're rare. I don't think there's very many of them, and I'm not sure if they're discontinued or not, or if they just don't produce them as often. I really don't have any idea. but. I am really hoping to get one. And of course, I would like to have them customized, uh, repainted, and I'll probably make it a wig. So, and they have girls and boys, so that's definitely something that I am hoping to get maybe next year sometime. But this is a dress-up video with, es with Oscar. And uh, this is called the Fa La La Lama Set by Wimukt. She's in Thailand. This was an Etsy purchase. I had to wait a few weeks since it was coming from overseas. I have bought from her a lot. She's one of my favorite uh, doll clothes makers. And her prices are pretty decent too. They're not too outrageous. This outfit, which consists of the beanie, the cardigan, the tank, the shorts, the scarf, and the pair of socks was 35 and then shipping so not too bad the quality is amazing you know real real working pockets these are made of corduroy they have the little oh my goodness <laughs> the carpenter pant thing they have pockets she uses the buttons instead of velcro which i prefer these because I can just sew these, you know, tighter if they get loose. The Velcro, you know, after a while, it doesn't keep the same thing, but the same stickiness. Again, here's the button, the fa la la llama set. Look at how cute that is. I like the, the fabric. It looks like denim, but it's not, it's soft see the stitching she really pays attention to detail the socks super cute and the picture in the picture the boy just happens to have these yellow shoes and I also happen to have them so I brought them down to see oh wow I love the cardigan oh I love the stripes it makes me think of like a varsity sweater from like the old days when the guys used to wear these and they had their letter right here. I should put an O for Oscar. <laughs> the buttons are faux. There's no openings for the buttons, but that's fine. Cause that would take too much, I think. That would just, the scarf is beautiful. Now, part of the reason why I got this set was because it was the last one available. Another reason I got it was because here in South Carolina, our winters are very mild compared to where I'm from in New York. And so like it's December and the sun is shining and <laughs> we get a little bit of frost in the morning, but it goes away pretty quickly. I am hoping for snow this year just so I can take my dolls outside and get some really cool photography shots, but we shall see. The beanie is so cool. All right, let's get to dressing this boy because I'm excited to see him in this outfit. Let's start with the shirt since it needs to be, it needs to go up over his legs, which I'm sure I could get it to go over his head, but I'd rather not have to bother with taking off his wig and all that stuff like my friend Allison says when she does her clothing doll unboxings and things 
ease is preferable. I love it. Oh, I love it. His pale skin against the blue is amazing. Wow. So like I was saying before, our winters here in South Carolina are very mild. And this set was like calling to me because it's like, he's got a beanie and a scarf, but then he's got shorts <laughs> and it works. So, oh wow, oh wow. Look at the corduroy shorts. Oh, I love them. Oh, this set is so perfect on him. Wow. Eek. He's so cute already. And he's just in, just in two pieces. Look at him. He's like, are we done yet? <laughs> the fit is fantastic and even I was talking with the artist Marina Mimo Marina she was um you know she she makes a lot of handmade clothing for her Oscar boy full sets and um I was telling her how you know I want to make him some clothes and she said she could um give me a pattern for a shirt and um, she said that the Unoa Culotts patterns work really well. And she was right because this outfit is meant for that Unoa doll. And it's a perfect fit on Oscar. Oh, my stars. I'm so excited. Look at the blue socks. <laughs> He's just so cute. He just can't help it. He just can't help but be cute. I've got, now in my other video where I did his face up reveal and his different wig options, this blonde wig, if you remember, had a bun on top and was a lot longer. <laughs> and I said in the video originally that I had made it for a different doll. Well, as you can see, Oscar stole it and I just let the bun down. I didn't cut it. I didn't cut the bun off, but I did cut the length so that now he's got a short, shortish boy cut there. <laughs> he steals everything from everyone. <laughs> These shoes I had originally bought for my Patusas by Lola, by, you know, Atelier Mamoni. And he has stolen, like, everything. <laughs> oh, he can't help it. He's so spoiled. Oh, look, the fit is good. Now, I like the BTS boy shoes a lot more than these action figure shoes. But the action figure shoes have a lot more details than the BTS boy shoes. Since look at, they're just plain, but I am hoping and planning on customizing these sneakers and all the other shoes I have that are, you know, like this, where everything is sculpted on, all the details are sculpted, but the actual shoe doesn't have any color on it. I bought these really tiny detail brushes and um, I've got a lot of acrylic paint and I'm hoping, and Mr. Super Clear for the sealant, and I'm gonna definitely paint these sneakers and customize them so that in photographs they stand out and they, they're not just plain, you know, plain shoes. So there he is with just the cardigan on. Oh my goodness. I really love this outfit. I am so excited that he's, that it's finally here. Cause I was worried because the tracking had updated and it said it was in New York. And so I'm like, okay, this is exciting. It's, it's in customs in New York. And 
I'm just waiting for it to get shipped to me, which from New York to me, it usually takes about another two days, but it didn't. It took a lot longer. Not sure what the situation was, but it's finally here. So let's get the hat on. I was really excited about the hat. I love beanies on, well, all my dolls. Oh, look at him. Guys, this outfit is incredible. Now, I, I am sorry to say that I did grab the last one, but I am, you know, hashtag sorry, not sorry, because I love this. I love it so much. It's perfect it's a, the exact look i want for him where it's like kind of preppy kind of young but still kind of just oh wow and the fit is so good it's really good and you know the ease of putting it on i'm not like worried that it's gonna fall off or anything like it's just a really, really good outfit. I have to do the magnet, the magnet test. Because through the wig and through the hat, look at it. It still works. Now, they'll fall off a lot easier. But, oh, he's amazing. And the outfit is amazing. I have really never been disappointed with anything that I've bought from her. I am disappointed with the fact that I sold everything I've bought from her. Um, which, I mean, when I was downsizing from one sixth or from one quarter MSD size to one sixth um, USD size, I obviously had to sell everything that I had because there was really no point in me keeping it but I had a lot of her A-zone clothing and I kind of wish I hadn't sold it because of course now they're not you know she doesn't have them anymore because her outfits are kind of like she does like a limited run and if there's enough I think if she's got enough of the same fabrics left over then she'll make you know like several more but then that's it you know then then it's over and so it's really it's really kind of like a first come first serve um, limited quantity type deal so yeah here's Oscar P in his new outfit by Wimukt um, I will leave the link to her Etsy shop in my link description so you guys can check her out she does beautiful clothing for all sizes like even halala dolls she's got sd size msd size unoa size lika chan size blythe i have some of her blythe clothes in my cart i'm hoping to grab some quickly before they sell out because some of her outfits do sell out pretty quick so Thank you for joining me and Oscar P for another dress up video. Um, if you like this type of content, let me know. Please comment if you're if you have any questions or, you know, just to say hi. I would love it if you would subscribe uh, and like um, it would be really neat to see what you guys think about Oscar P and his amazing new outfit so please like I said like and subscribe we shall see you in the next video